Thousands of runners were met with severe weather conditions in the midst of the Blue Ridge Marathon, ultimately forcing officials to cancel the race just a few hours in. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to explain why some runners decided to go against the decision of organizers and finish the race anyway. The Blue Ridge Marathon didn't quite go as planned Saturday, with the race getting canceled just a couple hours in due to the weather. Despite the cancellation, hundreds of runners were determined to finish no matter what. David Yopst was halfway through the marathon when officials called it. Um, they said that you could either stop or, and um, get shelter or continue and at your own risk. I, I looked at a few of the people near me. I was like, you just, you just want to keep going? And we were like, sure, why not? Tanner Motzko wasn't sure if he was allowed to continue. Kind of confused at first of like, can I still run? Because people were just like, stop running. And I was kind of like, all right, well, I'm going to keep going. Officials say they canceled due to lightning in the area. Roanoke outside event manager Kate Pedigo says they sent shuttles all through the course to evacuate runners. We can't keep volunteers or uh, medical staff or our police um, on the course, so those people continued running at their own risk. She says they were disappointed to call the race early. It's a true testament of human spirit to put this race on and have 3,000 people come to Roanoke to run. Um, so it really is a point of pride for us, and so we're completely gutted that we weren't able to um, to finish. Yope says he's glad he stayed the course. I thought about it a lot. I was like wondering if I should continue or not. But seeing how much the volunteers were supportive um, and also just, just the community itself around Roanoke was very supportive, so it made me want to keep going. The rest of the weekend's events are set to go on as planned. In Roanoke, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.